so it's a somewhat chilly but sunny day here in Tbilisi. It's our last kind of like full day to explore the city. So we got to have like a little day's morning, which was nice. And now we're just heading up to check out the Holy Trinity uh, Church, which is like this big church with this golden dome. It was built in the late 90s, early 2000s, and it's the third tallest Eastern Orthodox Church in Europe. So that's why a lot of people will go check it out. Fun facts, you do not need a head covering to go into the church. because it is actually nice in the sun and once you're down from the church it's not quite as windy um a shot head down it helps so when you're going to cross like the really big streets and you don't see a crosswalk look for something that looks like a subway entrance and basically it's like an underground passageway to like be able to walk underneath the traffic so you don't get hit um so if you can't figure out like where to cross just keep walking you're eventually going to see one of these things and then just into the dark little passage you go that was like the history of Georgia and the issues with war, especially with Russia, uh, which was really fascinating and like a really nice surprise because walking in here, it didn't really look like there was going to be a whole lot and it, there's just, there's a ton. I think you could spend a half hour easy in here just like walking around looking at everything. So... had a really nice lunch at this little place called Heritage House. It's just kind of outside of the old town and they have like a ton of soup, which is perfect for a day like today where it's really like, it's feeling like fall basically. Uh, so I had a really nice lentil soup, Laura had a really good beef one. And then we got the cucumber tomato uh, walnut salad, which is like a Georgian thing. It's so good. Um, I'm really obsessed with the walnut dressing here. Although I will say King and the Bird is still my favorite. So Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
start we're beating the rain um we're just walking into like the historic quarter now above where she can kind of see just up there is the mother of george's statue which is a really famous uh statue basically the idea is that she's looking down on georgia and protecting them uh it kind of is like giving me christ the redeemer vibes from rio so i don't know if we're gonna walk all the way up uh we're gonna see how it goes with the rain but uh, potentially we'll get closer. If not, like it is actually a pretty solid view from down here. So fingers crossed the rain holds off, but we don't know. While we're standing here, I'm thinking about it. Uh, there's a very cute dog behind me. I don't know if you can see, maybe you can, there we go. He's got like a little yellow, can you see it? Yeah, earring type of like tag. So basically that just means that he's been captured at one point or another, given his shots, fixed, and the yellow means like you can pet him, just like proceed with caution, like any normal dog basically. But it's kind of like the red light, green light system. So the green ones mean like they're super friendly, Yellow means like you probably don't try to like pet them because like they don't love people. And then the yellow is like go for it. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've seen any with the green yet. Most of them have the yellow, which is fair because like they're animals. It you know it just depends on their mood when you're bothering them. But um, we have seen a couple dogs with the red tags, and to be honest, like they kind of avoid people, so you already kind of know like probably don't pet them. But the yellow ones totally fine to pet, um, and most of them are super. Sweet. 